Hi guys, just a minute. <clears throat> okay, so I can't move this piano from here to there all by myself. Hi, I'm Dana Susan Beasley, and I'm the owner of Angel Arts, a creative arts agency and publishing house, and I'm also a blogger at CWAM.com. My column is Branding for Success. I'd love it if you'd check me out there. I'd find a lot of helpful information. So anyway, why would I have this zany, crazy illustration of trying to lift this piano by myself? Well, what I want to share with you today is that our businesses are a lot like trying to lift a heavy burden all on our own. Being a Christian work at home mom or dad, we have a lot of responsibilities. It's kind of like balancing these, these balls and trying to keep them all afloat and we can't do it, it's impossible. I know that as a woman, we are taught, or as women, we are taught often that we can have it all and we can do it all. We can be the wife and the mother and the, the homemaker and have a business and career and we could do it all perfectly and all by ourselves. Well, I'm here to tell you that is, that is a lie. And I've, I've learned that the hard way because I did try to maintain my business all by myself and it went nowhere. It wasn't until I realized that I needed a team. So, Another illustration I want to give you is in the Bible, Exodus 18. That's something that has really confirmed my decision to make a team in my business. And that story, you're probably familiar with it, is when Jethro comes to Moses, he visits Moses, and he finds that Moses is wearing himself out, judging from early in the morning to late at night. So he recommends to Moses that Moses finds some trustworthy man of integrity to take on those simple tasks of judging and that Moses retains a few important roles like being a representative from the people to God and teaching the people the laws, God's laws, and doing the most difficult cases. And so in that way, Moses did not become overburdened and that worked. Moses took his advice, his, uh, Jethro's advice, and it worked. So in the same way, what we can do in our business is think through, well, what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses? And what are those tasks that are taking too long for me to complete because there's too much of a learning curve? Or what are those tasks that I don't do because I dread because I hate them so much? That could be as simple as bookkeeping, in my case, a lot of that was web design. I need to completely redo my web design, my website, and that's overwhelming to me. And so I have an apprentice. And that's another way that you can get help without laying out a lot of cash while you're trying to get your business to thrive. So my apprentice is doing the website design and that's gonna free up my time to do what I'm supposed to do, what I'm good at and what God has called me to do. So that could be mean that you need a virtual assistant or a personal assistant. That could mean a whole host of different team members that you could have. That might mean that you actually need to hire a business coach so that you can get from where you are today to where you want to be in the future and you'll get there a lot faster. So those are just some of the ideas that might help you as you are trying to lift this heavy burden because we can't do this all on our own as as Christian work at home moms and dads we need to have help we need to have people surrounding us so in order to help you I have created a course a mini course that can get you from where you are now to where you want to be and it's in very easy doable chunks and just go to wildlysuccessfulhomebusiness.com and sign up for this course. It will help you to do that heavy lifting and get you that knowledge that you need, those essential things that you need in place to have a thriving business. So don't do this all on your own. And by the way, I can't take credit for this idea. This was, my pastor illustrated this for me this morning. So I thought that I would share it with you because I really enjoyed the way he did that. So. Again, this is Dana Susan Beasley. Check me out on the blog Branding for Success here at CWAM.com and have a blessed day 
and go out and find some help so you can do the heavy lifting and accomplish your dreams. Bye-bye.